Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater, and today I'm going to give you some tips for citing using Chicago Style. Chicago Style has two main formats. The first format uses footnotes, and the second format uses author date references. This video is going to focus on the author date format. In this video, we'll discuss how to cite articles. There will be other videos for citing books and websites, as well as for creating a reference list. There are other sources you may need to cite, in which case you should consult the Chicago Manual of Style, available in Anderson Library at the Reference Desk. It's important that you give credit to others for the work that they've done so you can avoid plagiarism. Not doing so, intentionally or not, is misrepresenting your own work and may result in serious academic and legal ramifications. Citing an article is similar to citing a book, except you need a little bit more information. In addition to finding the author's first and last name and the publication date, you also need the title of the article, the title of the journal, the volume and issue number of the journal, the page range of the article, and the digital object identifier, also known as a DOI. You do not need the issue number if the journal is consecutively paginated, an example of a consecutively paginated journal would be one where the first issue of the year starts on page 1 and goes through, let's say, page 300. The second issue of the year would then start on page 301. The digital object identifier is preferred to using a URL, but if there is no DOI, you can use the permalink that's found in the database. A video tutorial explaining how to find permalinks in ProQuest and EBSCOhost databases is found at the end of this tutorial. Let's take a look at an example of an article found using one of the library databases. We can see the journal title at the very top of this page, the Journal of Organizational Behavior Education. Right next to that we have the volume number, volume 3, and then the page range of the article, pages 25 through 40. Just below that we have the date of publication, which is 2010. Underneath all of that information we have the title of the article. And just below that, we have the names of all three authors, as well as what universities they work for. If a DOI exists, it will usually be at the bottom of the first page of the article. In this case, I have no DOI, so I will need to use the permalink. Now that we've gathered all of this information, we can create our citation. One thing to note is that when you have more than one author, the first author will be last name, first name, and all subsequent authors will actually be first name, last name, with an and right before the very last author. You'll notice that I have no issue number, so I just skipped over that part in my citation. And rather than using a DOI, I use the permalink from the database. This page contains some other useful sources you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about citing sources using Chicago Style.